the basic loop of the surgeon's knot is produced by double winding, which is performed by a simultaneous combination of the middle and index finger techniques. The middle finger technique is here performed by the right hand. The index finger technique is performed by the left hand. After undercrossing, the left suture end is pulled through underneath the right suture end in the usual way by using the last joint of the right middle finger. Simultaneously, the end phalanx of the left index finger pulls the right suture part through under the left half of the suture. This produces the double winding as the first loop of the surgeon's knot. The second loop can now be made with the right hand using the middle finger technique. Again, the hands have to be crossed anti-clockwise. The second loop can also be made with the left hand using the middle finger technique. Finally, the hands are to be crossed clockwise. The other two alternatives are performed with the right or left hand using the index finger technique.